there is T with Kate's Crafty Closet with another tag for my Christmas 2019 tag series. So these are the ones that we're gonna to make today. These, we're basically gonna make tags using background stamps. Like super simple, super easy, super fun. And you can knock these out rather quickly. This one I messed up because my finger hit it. So, but that's okay. We're gonna make two more of these. So let's go ahead and get ourselves started. I just kind of had some scraps of green paper sitting around and some scraps of red paper. I just kind of cut them up. I didn't really give them a specific size um, in this instance today. So it's just kind of like random um, cuts. So let's go ahead and use our We Are Memory Keepers um, angle punch. This, I'm gonna use the large one. And we're just gonna go ahead and punch two sides out of the red and two sides out of the green. Go in and grab that one because I missed it. Okay, boom, got that done. The next thing, let's go ahead and start off with the green one. Um, this is a stamp set I've been having for quite some time. This is just a holly background. I'm not quite sure where this one come from, but it says Inspirations. So I'm not sure what that is. Not sure who made this, but we're gonna go ahead and use that today. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Versamark ink and I'm just going to ink my stamp up, get it nice and covered. And then I'm gonna lay my tag on top. Then I'm gonna grab a piece of copy paper and I'm just gonna rub. And this prevents my fingers from getting full of the Versamark embossing ink and I'm just gonna press until I'm pretty sure it's covered. And boom, it is. I'm going to hold it down and grab it. And there we have a beautiful stamp image. Now you can just go ahead and heat set this and have that tone on tone look if that's what you wanna go for. But we're gonna go ahead and put some gold embossing powder onto this tag. I'm gonna do my best not to, to smudge it. And if I do, it's okay. I'm not gonna be upset about it. So I have some ink on three gold rush embossing powder right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle it on, get good coverage. Mm, little spot up here. All right, and boom, we're good to go. So I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna put my powder back into my handy dandy container. Okay, close this up before I turn on my heat tool so we don't get it everywhere. I'm gonna bring this closer so you all can see. Turn my heat gun on. I'm not gonna talk while this is running. Well, I love the magic of this, so I'm gonna talk a little bit. Love the gold on the green. So we have that done. A few little spots that I missed. And we'll set that to the side and let it cool off. And then we'll do the red one. So here we have our red tag. And I have this My Favorite Things. This is a Ho 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 background stamp from MFT. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in with our Versamark ink and add it to it and get good coverage. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put our tag on here. Um, there we go. We're going to grab our scrap paper. This is, like I said, just copy paper from the printer. 
Okay, so we got that one done. I'm gonna grab it off, and boom, there we go. And then we're gonna bring in some white embossing powder. Mine is the Ink on Three Arctic White. Any white embossing powder will do, whatever you have in your stash. All right, then we're going to sprinkle, and then boom. Got that. Lay that down. Put our powder back into our handy dandy little container. Okay, and then we're going to bring back into the heat tool. Um, heat this up and melt it. that is done and it's like you can add other things to these tags but I just want to show you how you can use your background stamps with this um, you can put a sentiment on it on top of it you can put a, uh, a colored image so I'm just gonna go ahead and hole punch this one and this one I'm going to use a piece of the natural twine just kind of I like it goes but if you like I said if you want to you can put a sentiment that says Merry Christmas on it but I just like today's video is more just kind of focused on you know to use our background stamps to make awesome tags and then once I use them I'll personalize them you can write on the back or, you know so like that so there is tag number one then we're gonna go in with the the ho 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 one and we're gonna go ahead and punch a hole in that one. If you wanna put a reinforcers on here, you most certainly can do that too. All right, this one I'm gonna use some green baker's twine. I'm just gonna put it in half. Um, and then I'm going to pull it through our hole. Right, like gave you two options. You can put the Versamark ink on there and just heat set that and get a tone on tone, or you can do heat embossing itself. All right, so that is our tags for today. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe on my road to a thousand subscribers so I can do some YouTube lives in the future. Um, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button. I already said that, right? I mean, hit that notification bell when it pops up. So you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video to YouTube. So I want to thank you all once again for joining me and have a crafty day, y'all.